Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Laura and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you all about one of my favorite tools that I use to save a ton of time on Poshmark and that is called Prime Lister. So if you wanna hear about what Prime Lister is, what it does, stay tuned. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Laura and in today's video, I'm going to be letting you in on a little reseller secret that I have, which is Prime Lister. Before we dive in, I just want to say thank you to Prime Lister for sponsoring today's video. So Prime Lister is a Chrome extension that you download onto your computer and it basically helps you with all the different types of listing tasks related to being a reseller. So it can relist, cross list, delist, it can do bulk actions, it can help share your closet, it can do all of the things that you as a reseller have to do in order to maintain consistent sales, except you actually don't have to do that much. It's super easy and it's a lot more affordable than if you were considering hiring a virtual assistant. Basically, the only purpose for Prime Lister is to make your life easier. You'll be able to spend a lot less time and make greater amounts of sales because Prime Lister basically automates a ton of the things that are super mundane and time consuming as resellers. And as a reseller, a full-time reseller myself, I would say that my time is my most valuable asset because it is so limited and my sales are direct are a direct correlation to how much time I spend doing things like finding new material when I'm sourcing and photographing it and listing it. So if you can save time on all of the other stuff, like cross-listing to different platforms to increase your ability to make sales across different platforms, delisting things once things have sold, sharing your closet, all of these things, you can save a ton of time by using Prime Lister. So I'm gonna take you onto Prime Lister. I'm going to show you everything from how to set up your account, how to actually do all of these actions that I'm telling you about, and I'm I'm going to show you how it all works and it is so easy to use honestly i've been using it for about a month now and i just don't think i could go back to doing all of this stuff by hand because it is truly just so much faster and it's so easy and anyone can use it so let's get into it and i'm going to show you how to use prime lister first things first let's make an account this is the home page of prime lister which you can get to by typing in primelister.com into your search browser and then you'll just have to enter your name, your email address, and you'll be able to get started. Click get started for free. Then you'll simply add a password and sign up. You'll get a notification saying you need to verify your email address. So simply log into your email, click verify email address, and you'll be ready to go. Okay, so when you first log into Prime Lister, this is what it's gonna look like. And the first task under set up Prime Lister account, take action, is going to be to install the Prime Lister extension. That's the first thing that you're going to need to do. And I'm gonna show you how. So just click learn more. And the website is really easy. Um, it shows you there's a link right here to click and install the extension. So just click that. You're gonna be taken to the Chrome Web Store where you will install the extension. So you just click add extension, you're going to see it download, and then you'll be able to click start onboarding and Prime Lister kind of takes you through this part, but you'll see the new extension and you can click those three dots and click pin and then it will be up there permanently. That way you can access it and use it right from your dashboard on Google Chrome. The next step is to give Prime Lister access to your account. So you're going to go into the extension and click start Poshmark, start Mercari, start eBay, whichever platforms you use, you have to start them on the extension, which is basically just giving Prime Lister access to your accounts. It's not giving them your passwords. It is completely secure. It's just letting them use the extension on these profiles. Um, so it's a really safe way to use a assistant. So next I'm going to be showing you how to relist using Prime Lister. This is one of my favorite features. So it's really easy. I'm showing you exactly how I did it. It will just add a new task to the queue. And you can do this as a bulk action too. So you could select more than one of your listings and 
this would all just come up in new tabs on the top so you can see how it works it's just it just says please wait we are currently working on this page and basically prime lister is taking all of the information from the listing creating a new listing with the same information and it even deletes the old listing so that you don't have the listing up twice in your closet so it's really easy to use this feature is so helpful so save so much time and even though you can do this on poshmark using the copy list feature this is a better way to do it because this is relisting it and creating it as a whole new listing and you can just do this in the background you can do a bulk action and just have this being done in the background so i'm showing you here how now when i sort to just in this listing is now a newly listed item and i'm going to search for this brand for wild fox in my closet and you can see that this is the only listing now the other older listing has been deleted so it's really really helpful i love this feature Another thing that you can do with Prime Lister is cross listing. So let's try that. Everything you just click on Prime Lister actions and then whichever action you want to do. So for this one, we just click on cross list and we are going to cross list this dress, this Topshop dress over to both eBay and Mercari. And these are the five different platforms that you can list on Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook, Etsy, and eBay. I do not list on Etsy or Facebook, but I do list on eBay and Mercari. So I'm going to show you how to cross list over onto both of those platforms and you can do it right at the same time. So it just has to load the item, but it basically pulls up every single piece of information that is on Poshmark. Now eBay has a lot more fields than Poshmark does. So you do have to go in and fill in some of the fields that were missing, but that will only take you like less than a minute versus having to copy and paste all the photos over and having to basically copy and paste your description, everything, all of that comes pre-filled. So right now you can see I'm just going through, filling in everything that's missing. And a lot of this stuff on eBay is just recommended. It's not required anyway. So you don't even have to put that stuff in. As you can see, the description is completely filled in. The price is filled in. Um, for eBay, you do have to add shipping information, like how much the item weighs and all of that stuff. Um, I always boost my items visibility. And then we'll go back up and you'll see that all the photos have now loaded. They stay in the same order, so you don't have to do anything with that. And then you just scroll down, click list item. It's going to submit the listing. And then you're going to have cross-listed that item. And it will probably have saved you a solid two to three minutes. Um, and when you're talking about hundreds of items, that can really help. So now we're going over to Mercari doing the same thing. Each platform has different limits in terms of description and title length, so you might have to make some small edits here and there. But again, so much faster than having to copy and paste all the photos and everything else. So this really does just take a few minutes. Another feature that Prime Lister has is sharing your closet. Now, Technically, this is not allowed on Poshmark. You're not allowed to use a bot to share your closet. However, Prime Lister is risk-free because it mimics human behavior. So basically, you will be sharing your closet and it's going to take the same amount of time that it would take for you to share your closet. So Poshmark basically isn't going to be able to pick up that it's a bot. However, this is technically not allowed. So I do just want to mention that if you are a rule follower and you're not comfortable with that, you do not have to use that feature, but the other features are still going to be available for you. But I'm just going to show you how this works anyway. So you can see this, I just clicked select all, which selected everything on this page. And so it's going to be sharing these 48 items. Um, but you can share your entire closet as well. You can share just select items. There are lots of different ways you can do this. And as I said, it's going to take a little while so you can navigate away from this page and it's still gonna continue sharing your closet. You just have to make sure that you keep the tab, keep this window open, don't minimize it. Um, and it will continue sharing your closet so you can go and do other things while your closet is sharing. 
While my closet is sharing, I'm going to show you another part of Prime Lister that I love. So if you go to the website and you click on inventory on the top, you can see everything that you have cross-listed on the website. So it will show you which platforms your listings are up on. And this is so helpful to keep track of which platforms your listings are on so that if something does sell, you can delist it directly through the website. So I'm gonna show you that right now. This Toad & Co. flannel actually sold on eBay. So I'm going to delist it on Poshmark. So it's super easy and it's going to basically add the task to the queue. You can watch it happen over here and it's going to delist it on Poshmark. And um, one thing to keep in mind is that this isn't actually going to delete the listing. It's just going to mark the listing as not for sale. So if you do actually sell on eBay, for example, and you sold the item, but then the buyer returned it, you can just go back into Poshmark and mark it for sale again. So it's not actually deleting it, it's just deactivating it. While we were doing that, my closet was still sharing and we are getting to the end here. So as you can see, this just helps so much because you can be doing more than one thing at once instead of having to individually share each listing and all of that, which can be such a pain. So this is super, super helpful in terms of just saving you a ton of time, as you can tell. So there it is. All those items have now been shared to my followers. So I also wanted to show you guys another really cool feature that is so helpful. So if you go onto your Poshmark closet and in the corner, in the bottom left corner here, you'll see this PL logo, the Prime Lister logo. So you can click on that and you'll see the Poshmark bot here so this is where you can share your entire closet you can also share your listings from the bottom to the top which is helpful if you want to keep your closet in a certain order um, you can share your listings to your followers you can share to a party you can also automatically follow people or like things on your feed if you want to kind of stay active within the Poshmark community. But this is the part that I really wanted to focus on here, the bulk offer. So as you probably know, if you sell on Poshmark, you have to, when you want to send offers to likers, you have to go through each individual item, click on it and send an offer. But I always send the same offers where I'm usually sending 20% off with discounted shipping and you can set here a minimum earnings. So it will skip an item and not send this offer if your earnings are less than a certain amount. So I'm going to put um, $10 for that because if I'm making less than $10, I probably don't wanna be sending that big of a shipping discount. And then you can click start bulk offer. And this is going to send offers to likers on my entire Poshmark closet. And I don't have to do that individually. I also wanted to show you that it's not just Poshmark that has all of these awesome features. Prime Lister also has a lot of the same features on Mercari. So if you come over to Mercari here, I'm here in my listing section. So I'm going to just do an example here with this specific dress and I'm going to relist it to show you that it's not just Poshmark where you can relist things, you can relist things also on these other platforms too. So this is doing the same thing that it did on Poshmark when I showed you that on Mercari. And as you can see, you don't actually have to do anything. You just sit there and it does it for you. You can easily run this in the background while you're doing other things. And now that listing has been relisted. You can see it came up to the top in my active listings. Now it's a fresh new listing and hopefully that will get more eyes on it. Okay, so I also wanted to show you that you can send offers to likers on Mercari as well. So we're going to click select all. This is going to select my entire closet on Mercari, all my listings. I'm going to click offers to likers and it's just gonna start working. So basically how it works on Mercari is that it's going to send whatever the highest possible offer is. So it'll start with 10% off, but this is going to just send the highest possible offer that you can send on every single thing in your closet on Mercari. And then we'll pop back over to Poshmark here and you can see that it is still working. It is still sending offers on everything in my closet on Poshmark as well. And I just made a sale on Poshmark because of this. 
I wanted to show you this, how all of these offers really are being sent. I'm getting all of these notifications on Poshmark. And while all of this was happening, I made a sale. I sold this sweater. This was from one of the offers that Prime Lister just sent for me. Okay, so last, I just wanted to show you the options for Prime Lister subscriptions. You can have a seven day free trial, but after the seven day free trial, you can choose between either paying for a monthly subscription or you can pay upfront for a whole year and you'll save quite a bit of money if you do it that way. These are the monthly rates, so it comes out to $49.99 per month for the pro plan, $29.99 per month for the basic plan. A couple more benefits of Prime Lister that I wanted to highlight is first of all that there is no financial risk for trying it. You can try a free seven day trial and you don't have to put your credit card information in, which I hate when there's a free trial, but you have to put your info in and they're going to charge you automatically on a certain day that you're not going to remember. So you're not going to cancel it in time. That's not how it works. You can try it completely for free for seven days. Unlike a virtual assistant who you would have to give your passwords to, meaning they would have access to like your bank account information and you really have to make sure that you would trust that person. Prime Lister doesn't take any of your information. You sign directly into the sites like Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, etc. They act as a Chrome extension on top of that account. So they're not getting your account information. So it's a lot, it feels a lot more secure to me than using a virtual assistant. I will also say that the support team for Prime Lister is awesome. I had uh, a couple issues setting up my account and they responded pretty much immediately and helped me out. If you do need to speak with support, they are super responsive and they respond to all support inquiries within 24 hours. So that's great as well. So the last thing that I wanted to talk about was just basically how Prime Lister has helped my business. And I've showed you all of the awesome features of Prime Lister, but I have been personally using it for the past month and I have really, really enjoyed it because some of these things that Prime Lister does so seamlessly and so quickly can take a really long time. Even though you do have to input some information, it's not a lot and it takes like one minute and you just go down really fast and click list and it's done. And the other thing that I think is so helpful about Prime Lister is the inventory management section, which I also showed you in the demo because it basically keeps track of everything for you, which I used to do manually as well. If you've ever watched my inventory system video, then you can see in that spreadsheet, I used to put the date that I listed things on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Tradesy, all separately. Whereas now I can just go into the inventory management section on Prime Lister and see that, okay, yeah, this is listed on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And it just makes it so much easier for me when things sell to not have to check every single platform and think, oh, did I put that on that platform or not? Like that was something that was such a pain point for me in my business. I just think that it's so much easier having that inventory management system to keep track of it for me. So if you are thinking about trying Prime Lister, I would highly recommend it. You can try for seven days completely for free and just see how much it helps you, how much time it saves you and see for yourself. And then if after the seven day trial, you want to continue using Prime Lister, you can get 30% off your first purchase using my affiliate link, which I will put right here and also in the description down below. So you can sign up and save some money. So if you want to try it out, use my link and leave a comment if you've ever tried Prime Lister and let me know how you liked it. I will see you all next Wednesday with a brand new video. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you all next Wednesday. Bye.